Hello, Hamas fans. It's Paul from Canada here. It's been a while since I spoke. In fact, I don't think since the Shrewsbury game or before the Shrewsbury game. Uh, you know, I talked about the transfer window in January. Uh, don't like it very much at all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Glad it's really over. Um, we picked up uh, Jao Mario, which is quite impressive, although it was only a loan. Apparently, there is no deal to buy at the end of it. Uh, so we'll see what transpires there. By all accounts, he, he did well at the Crystal Palace match. Didn't see that match. Um, read a lot about it, heard uh, Gio and Gonzo and uh, the others on Hammers Chat talk about it. Sounds like he, he played a good game. It sounds like West Ham turned up in the first half and uh, were pretty good in the second too. Um, going back to the Shrewsbury game, glad we were beaten, frankly. Uh, or glad, I guess we got through it. Glad we were beaten after that by Wigan. Um, I didn't think we'd beat Wigan. Uh, they're a good team. They uh, Was it Bournemouth 3-0? Um, and boy, if you'd put Bournemouth strip on them when we were playing them, I watched that game, I would have mistaken them for Bournemouth. They're good on the ball. They're fast. They had us pinned back. Um, I couldn't really blame Moyes for the way he set up. We have no one. I mean, if you want to look at the uh, injury list, we have 11 first teamers out. Wrong, actually. 10... Because And this is why I hate the January transfer window. We just let go of Ayo, Ayu. Uh, and I don't think uh, that was a good sale for us. I don't think we ever got the best out of Ayu. Um, and contrary to what is coming out of West Ham today about not wanting any more African players because they band together, they sit down, they chat among themselves and they don't want to play and they got attitude. Ayu was nothing... Ayu was nothing but a gentleman. He always played with a smile on his face. He always gave 100%. It didn't always work out for him. I don't think he was given a fair crack of the whip, but I suppose we sold him for 18 million or 20 million. Um, but the, the, le the, the list we have, uh, Antonio, Arnautovic, uh, Ayu once, Carol, Fernandez, Fonte, Lanzini, Masuaku, Noble, he is, he is uh, I think back, although he's apparently, it's got him listed here as uh, a foot injury since the the Crystal Palace game. Obiang and Reed. I mean, that's 11 first team players. So I, I have been very impressed with Moyes, given the situation he's under. One, unbalanced squad. Two, bloody hell, have we got any attackers left? Um, 11 first teamers out uh, and some difficult, a difficult mandate. I mean, he's got to keep us up. And he had extra cup games involved as well. Uh, he's come out for me uh, the right side up. And he's shown also that he can play players in ways that other managers that we've had have not done. Cresswell's been in the back three. Um, he's found new positions for players and it's worked out. For a while there, while they were both fit, um, you know, Anatovic and Lanzini were looking fantastic. Um, and so you take those two out of the team, uh, you end up with a very defensive team, and I think we managed to cut through those other games really well. I wasn't too disappointed to see um, to see us lose to Wigan. I, I really don't think that we have the wherewithal in the squad right now to, for a cup run. We are only four points above Southampton, who are in the relegation zone. I think it was Bournemouth that went away to Chelsea today and won 3-0, and that tells you anything can happen down there. We're not out of it. So for me, I know some people don't agree with me, but for me, the Premier League is numero uno, number one. You've got to keep your, your butter on your bread before you can start looking at the cake. And to me, it's bread and butter. Bread and butter comes first. You get out of that league, you lose the big money, and you end up like Nottingham Forest, like Leeds, like Blackburn Rovers, like Preston. And we just got a player from Preston. Uh, never really heard of him before, actually. Uh, shock, horror. Uh, but he did only cost nine million, half the price we got for Ayu, which was eighteen. Hmm, seems to be a pattern here, doesn't there? Uh, well, anyway, uh, you know, reading his report, how pleased he is to be there. He seems to know a lot about the club. Whether he was fed a line or not, I don't know. He's a big boy, six foot. Um, apparently, he's very powerful. Uh, he is a, a holding player, holding forward, a for holding attacker. He can hold the ball up nicely. He's good with his feet from what I have seen and the few snippets I've seen. It's hard to believe those videos, but I've looked at a few of them. Uh, he seems to be um, good with his feet. Uh, he seems to be able to deal with attackers very well. Of course, that's all been in the championship. Uh, he seems about one goal in four matches, maybe one goal in three on a good, good year. Uh, better than what we're doing right now. Mind you, again, that's not the Premier League. 
How will he work out? Don't know. But he, he definitely seems to have the right attitude. That's half the battle. Um, you know, I don't want to go in defense of what our club said about African players, but it was nice to, and the Sacco, you know, no reflection on African players, but he was definitely a difficult individual, and I'm sure glad he's gone. Um, but this guy seems to have the right attitude. Maybe he can hold the ball up and start to play, uh, you know, Chicharito back into the game. Uh, he had a, Chicharito seemed to put a lot of effort out. Maybe he finally realized, whoa, whoa, nearly fell off the world there. I'm back. Maybe he realized, Chicharito realized that he was not going to go anywhere and he had to put 100% into it because apparently he played really well in that Crystal Palace game or put a lot of effort into it, which is nice to hear. The other person that seems to have bucked up lately is the man formerly known as Kiate. Uh, um, he's back, apparently. I didn't see if his bandage has come off and if the zombie wound has healed up, but he is back. Um, starting with that match against Bournemouth. That Bournemouth match, the first 25-35 minutes, that is the best football I've seen us play this year, bar none. It was beautiful. Uh, unfortunately, we let them get back into the game, which is the story uh, of our um, sort of, uh, you know, Lanzini went off, I think, with the injury, and, and more and more they came back into it. But that first 35 minutes was great, and no small part to um, Kiate being used in a slightly different role, Perhaps that's what made him happier. Or perhaps it's the fact that Saka was finally out of the picture and, and, and that negativity was not bleeding onto him. But anyway, he is playing much better now. I know the ball hit him a few times <clears throat> and it wasn't a particular sort of skill set that he brought to the game, but it was hard work and graft. And it's nice to see him back. Hopefully that continues. Um, what else do I have to say? Uh, I'm not taking any game. If you ask me for a prediction on any game, I'm a positive person. But I really find it hard to say that we're going to win a game and we're away to Brighton. And frankly, I don't think anybody knows really what's going to happen. We're not scoring many goals right now. I don't know who's coming back. Uh, maybe Antonio is. Uh, and there's another thing I like Moyes for. Uh, he doesn't take poo-poo from anybody. And it sounds like Antonio turn has turned up consistently late for training and meetings. What that's about, I don't know. I uh, haven't heard anything in the media, uh, and, and Antonio hasn't tweeted any off-key off tweets, so don't know what that's about. He did apologize, but, you know, given the circumstances, other managers may have just looked the other way and put him in the squad, and that gives the player power. Players have enough power. I'm really glad that Moy stood up to him, and we got out of that with a point. Uh, that does show something to the players, and uh, who's the boss, and I, I think that's really important. And if I had a uh, any sort of areas for improvement for Slaven Bilic. Great guy, lovely guy, but I think he was too nice. And if he ever gets another position, uh, I think he's got to go uh, a little harder on the players. Uh, I'm appreciating what Moyes is doing. I'm appreciating he's getting the best out of them. And I cannot complain with the way that he's playing football right now. Five at the back, defensive. Um, that's all we've got right now. We don't have much in the way of creativity. Uh, we certainly haven't bought um, speed at the front uh, with this um, Hugel, uh, Jordan, Jordan Hugel uh, character. He's not particularly fast. Uh, he is a hold-up play. So I don't see any, any real difference in the future as far as how we play. Uh, you know, that first 25, 35 minutes, as I said, against... Uh, who was it? Bournemouth was fabulous. If we could get there, once everybody's back and fit, wonderful. But right now we've got 10 people who are out. And in my opinion, it takes five games for players. Once they're back on the bench, it takes five games for them to become the player they were before.